I received another pair of earbuds in the mail today from Inatech, so I thought we'd take just a couple of minutes to take a look at them. These are the Ares Dynamic Driver In-Ear Headphones, and what makes these different from the Lacerta Inatech headphones I reviewed before is that instead of being all metal like they were, these are wood. So let's go ahead and open the box. We'll see what comes in it. Of course, there's not going to be a whole lot in here, but down here at the bottom is your instruction manual. Not that you should really need too many instructions as far as a pair of earbuds are concerned. Here is the little carrying case in case you need one. I do really like the carrying cases that Inatech puts with these. Inside the case, you get an additional two sets of silicon tips, color-coded, very nice, with a clip so you can clip this to your body, and an airplane splitter in case you need it. And then the earbuds themselves. Strangely, everything is covered in plastic baggies. I guess maybe that's to keep the wood fresh. I don't know. Does wood go bad? No. <laughs> that's that's sort of really odd. But there you go. These are the Inatech Ares wood earbuds. And I, I would assume this is the, the only part on them that's actually wood. Not really sure what that brings to the sound quality, if anything, but I guess we'll find out here in just a minute. Now, the one thing I would say, after using the Lacerta earbuds for uh, probably a month or more now, I do have one sort of complaint about those, and I would be willing to bet these are going to have the same issue, is that the cable tangles really, really easily. It's not a, a tangle-free cable at all, so basically the way that I normally handle headphones is I take three fingers, and then I'll wrap around just over and over again until I get the cable pretty short. Once I've got it decently short, I grab the entirety of this bundle of cable, I wrap around it a few times, usually four, five, six, something like that, and then through this big hole on this end, you put the end of the cable. And this is how I store my headphones. Doesn't put a whole lot of stress on the cable, doesn't really do any damage to the cable, and it means that usually they're not in too bad a shape when you undo them. Unfortunately, the last pair of these that I had, the, the Lacerta, uh, when I do this, they come out in just sort of a tangled, jumbled mess, and it looks like these are gonna kind of be the same way, but realistically, you're gonna expect a tangle of wires because these are not Bluetooth. These are just three and a half millimeter plug-in. As far as the specs about them, in case you're curious, there's the driver, a 9.2 millimeter dynamic driver, frequencies and the input power and the maximum inputs, you know, all that stuff. So you can take note of that if that's important to you. And also on the cable, there's this little section here. The Lacerta's actually had a, a little switch on the back to go between, I think they went between and Android and iPhone. This seems to just have a microphone and a button. And looking very quickly at the manual, that button can be used to play or pause your music. Pressing it a certain way can, can move to the next song or the previous song, and it can also be used to answer or end phone calls. But now let's go ahead and we'll hook this up. We'll listen to some music with it. Plug it into my Nexus 5X here. So here's one song. We've got it kind of maxed out. And there's another song. And actually, before I go any further, I thought I'd take a quick look at this. I noticed that this one actually has a little bit of a, it looks like a chip out of it. Yeah, you can kind of see that there. I was able to scratch at it just a little bit, and some of the finish is coming off. It's not obviously going to affect the sound in any way, but it does affect the look just a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind. It's probably not going to be a problem for most people. It's just this pair in particular had a little bit of a chip out of them. That's, I guess, one of the downfalls of using wood. Let's go ahead. I'll go ahead and put these in, and we'll take a listen. Okay, so one thing I do immediately notice here as compared to the Lacerta I reviewed before is these do not say anywhere that I can see left or right. So I'm going to assume that the clip here, the, uh, the button and everything goes on the right. That's how it normally is. So we'll just go ahead and put these in and turn on some music. Decently comfortable. Uh, it, it, this part feels a little bit weird, the part with the wood that sticks out, but the Lacerta stuck out a little bit too, and because they were metal, they were a little bit heavier. Not bad bass. Good mid-tones. Good high end. It sounds pretty good all around. Yeah, that's a good, full, rounded, rich sound. And they do have a little bit of punch to them. Yeah, so tested with about a half dozen songs there. Sounds pretty good to me. I'm definitely no audiophile, so I can't really comment on that, but in my limited experience, in, in the probably 30 or 40 pairs of earbuds and headphones that I've tested, these do have very good quality sound. Pulling them up over on Amazon very quickly, looks like they're available for about $20. Not really sure if they're worth that to you or not. Personally, I tend to err on the side of Bluetooth. If I'm buying a pair of earbuds, I would want them to be Bluetooth just because lots of cable and wire. However, I have found myself using wired headphones a lot lately, especially when I'm traveling. Because if I'm on a 10 or a 12 hour plane ride, being able to just pop in a quick pair of earbuds, plug them into whatever device it is that I'm using, so much easier than having to worry about battery life or having to have a big bulky pair of over-ear headphones to carry along with me. So yeah, just sort of putting this out there for your consideration. 
20 bucks over on Amazon. Link will be found down in the video description if you're interested. Thanks so much to Inatech for making these available for me to take a look at. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thumbs up this video if you'd like this video. Subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. We'll see you again next time.